Well, hey, and welcome to another episode of Beetle Dustino coming at you today, not with a Beatles video, but with the Beach Boys. Of course, new box set, I think a lot of Beach Boys fans have been anxiously awaiting, even after its delay, which I forgot to report. <laughs> but anyways, sit back and enjoy. So yeah, of course, we're going to be talking about the Beach Boys' newest release. It came out just on the 18th, or <laughs> should have came out on November 18th. It came out on the, the 2nd of December, and that would be Sail on Sailor 1972, which combines the Carl and the Passion So Tough album, which was re re originally released on May 5th of 1972, and the Holland album, which was released on January 8th of 1973, and it also includes the Mount Vernon and Fairway EP that would have came with the, the Holland album too. Kind of a follow-up to the feel flows from the Sunflower and Surf Slip sessions that came out last year. I did bring that box out, the, the book, I guess, to take a look at, just kind of show you that they're very similar in size. So we'll just take a look at that little comparison of that a little later. Of course, this is kind of following in a line with a bunch of other sets like this, um, kind of showing the sessions from a certain year by the Beach Boys or a certain album or a certain couple of albums. And they've had kind of a few of these, but just different formats. So there's never been anything that they've really stuck with until this last couple, I guess. The first one that came out was Big Beat 1963, which did have some sessions in that, but it did have some other groups on it. That was only available online on streaming. And then there was Keep an Eye on Summer from the Beach Boys from Sessions of 1964. That one, again, only streaming. Then there was also the Beach Boys Party, Uncovered and Unplugged. Very fantastic little album there. If you, if you like the Beach Boys Party, definitely a cool one to check out. That one was actually physical media. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> then, of course, the Pet Sounds 50th um, gave us a nice box with that. I think I have not seen that in person yet, but I think it's a similar size probably to these. There was also the Sunshine Tomorrow set that came out, kind of featuring the Wild Honey and some of the Smile sessions. That came out on physical media on that one, too. And then we had Wake the World and I Can Hear Music. So Wake the World, of course, the Friends sessions and I Can Hear Music, the 2020 sessions. Again, we went back to streaming only. So it's nice that they're giving us an actual physical product. And it's a very nice physical product. And since we've been talking so long, let's actually reveal it. So there it is. Sail on Sailor, 1972. And I've still got it in the shrink here. So we'll do an unboxing, unwrapping. I don't like that unboxing term, even though this is a box set too. But get a good close look at the hype sticker there before I take the shrink off here. And we'll take a look at the spine and everything after I get the shrink off. I'll show you the back here quick. So I'm not sure if that stays on or not. Find out in just a second here. <laughs> but anyway, it's time for the trusty old pen knife. And let's do this thing. Of course, there were a bunch of different LP variations of this too. I love the Beach Boys, don't get me wrong, but I just at this moment can't see spending the money on a big LP set like that. I've thought of some of the smaller sets, but I also think uh, maybe one day you discover we'll have a nice like 40% off sale or something, and I might have a few points built up and I can get a pretty good deal on one of those bigger LP sets, so maybe <laughs> we'll see in the future. Anyways, we got the shrink all set here. I'll get that pulled off. Save that. So it's sticking to my arm. I'll take another look at the book here with the shrink off so it's not all shining and reflecting. And this was just the back of it. So kind of the track listing in that. I don't know how well that's coming into frame there. And we'll show you the spine here quick. let's open it up. And of course, with books, I don't show every page. I'll kind of flip through, take a look at a few. I feel like if you really want to see what's on these pages, go get the book. I'll give you a little sampling. Um, let's see what we can find kind of cool here. There we go. Some nice pictures. But yeah, I feel if you really want to see this, 
I always hear people say, just pause it. Well, yeah, you can pause it, but you're going to get a much better enjoyment out of this if you actually had it sitting in your hands. We all love physical media, so support the physical media. Part of why I bet you that they did streaming on a lot of these. People are just, you know, afraid to go for these big box sets. Cool picture of the Carl and the Passions album there. And see, so of course, like track by track. Oh, and then the Carnegie Hall live sessions, which are all on these discs. Very cool. So yeah, kind of going disc by disc here. What you're getting with the tracks and the bonuses. Speaking of the disc, there's the first page with the disc. And I'll pull each disc out. We do like looking at physical media, so we do like looking at the disc. That I got no problem showing you each one, even though they look like they all got the same, the brother label. Very cool label, though. So we'll just take a look at each disc here. So six, six disc. We'll start with CD1. That would be the Carl and the Passion So Tough album, and then some of the bonuses. And of course, CD2 from the Holland album and the Mount Vernon and Fairway EP on that, and then some bonuses. And they really fit nice in these pouches, by the way. Not having to fight getting any of them out. They're staying nice and secure once they are in, and they go back in very nice and easy, too. There's disc three. I believe this is the starting, yeah, of the Live at the Carnegie Hall. So that's going to be a fun one to sit down and really listen to. And then CD4. Continuing with the Carnegie Hall, this is the second show, it looks like. Second set. So first set, I would imagine, on that disc three. And here we got 1972 Sessions on disc five. And then disc six. And we got some more live bonus tracks. And yeah, the Mount Vernon and Fairway a Fairy Tale Sessions. And 2022 edit of the California Saga. So that'll be kind of cool to check out. Yeah, but there it is. Very nice set. Very well done. And like I said, I'll get out my feel flow set here too to just kind of give a little comparison of the two. And as you can see, they are exactly the same size. So they will fit very nice together on your shelf. And I haven't really showed this set yet, but one day on a What's in the Box, we will take a little closer look at it. Of course, it does have the kind of the same little pockets there for the disc, only five disc in this one. So, but yeah, like I said, we'll take a closer look at that another day. But anyways, there was Sail on Sailor, 1972 by the Beach Boys. I'm very excited to dig into this. I really love the Holland album, and I got a feeling the more and more I listen to Carl and the Passion, it's so tough, I'm going to really fall in love with it too. So this is kind of an era of theirs that I'm really wanting to explore. So the question comes now, too, after all those different variations on it that we saw, what's next? Are they going to continue with this format? I don't think it'll be next year. They've been kind of following 50th anniversary with it all, and the next album that would come out chronologically after Holland would be the 15 big ones, which didn't come out until July 5th of 1976. Um, so we do got a few years on that. And then, of course, the next one after that would be the Beach Boys Love You. Um, that was April 11th of 1977. I had a couple of predictions on the titles on this. So we got Sail on Sailor here and Feel Flows here. <laughs> so they're definitely going with a title of a song off of one of the, the two albums they feature. So I'm going to predict if they do this set, will be, it's okay, 1976 to 1977, or the one I kind of like for some reason, honking on down the highway, 1976 to 1977. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I don't know if they're going to go next year or a few years or what here, but hopefully enough people do buy Sail on Sailor 1972. I hope the feel flows did well. It sounds like it did from everything I heard. So I know I'm really into them. I'm really excited to see the next one. I hope they keep with this format. I do like we got a nice kind of standardized format. Looking forward to sitting down and taking a listen to all this. Carnegie Hall stuff I'm really, really excited for. And just listening to the albums is all remastered and cleaned up a little and sounded a little better. But anyways, I do want to thank everybody that's been watching and all my subscribers. Of course, we do got that Paul McCartney 3 challenge going on right now. If you saw one of my last videos, came out yesterday. 
just show show me your McCartney threes. I want to see all the different colors. I want to see who's got the most of, of each of the different colors. Let's have a big video, show all the CDs, the box sets, everything that you got. Let's see all those those McCartney threes. So of course my video on that will be coming out on the 18th to celebrate its second anniversary. Threes, second. How did I, uh, I did that wrong now? Three second. I'm not that cool. <laughs> all right. But anyways, I'm Beetle Dustino. Talking about the Beach Boys, signing out. <laughs>